A man, how does sexual health work for a man? How it, does it start in their head? Do they think about it? Then they send the message to their body and stuff like that. Let's talk about prostate. Talk to us about that. How does it work for men? Yes, uh, usually there, there is the endocrine system mm -hmm. that um, interact to release hormones. Usually the eyes plays a role. The ears have a role. Every sense, yes, every sense organ the in the eyes. woman in the woman plays a role because wow. uh, what a man looks at, for instance, if a man looks at, there's a way a man will look at a woman. Mm -hmm. He will send chemical substances from the brain through the system to the respective reproductive organ or aspect, and that will, that will, that will mount a surge, and um, and the man begins to feel uncomfortable or feel in a way that may, may, some people may connote as errors and mm. may have some erection with the erection, yeah. mm. of the of the blood vessels around the phallus, the corpus carbonosum, and and that will lead to you know very strong erection. But actually, mm. uh, if you take a gun and put it on the man's head, he may not be able to put an erection, put up an erection. But mm. just may look. Just may look at a girl. Yeah, they looking at a woman or even thinking about a woman. Or thinking about it. Or, or just a picture. It may not even be a real life. Thing, may, yeah, it can send yeah. a signal to the brain and the brain can begin to send all those um, hormones, all hormones. those um, okay. um, unseen parts we talked about initially. Mm -hmm. And the, the body, the physical structures begin to respond. They begin to respond to to that you have uh, preparation for the actual activity so on the arm of the prostate the prostate has a role because the, the prostate releases um, a kind of secretion in which the semen or the sperm because okay. the sperm and the secretion coming together makes up the semen okay. so the the those chemicals stimulate the prostate and the prosthetic cells release those secretions and once there is arousal mm -hmm. as it were the there is a stimulation to the prostate to release the prosthetic fluid okay or that particular component of the semen that helps the sperm to swim inside, inside which is really okay. alkaline and then it sends it through the uh, urethra uh, mm -hmm. Static urethra to the urethra. Well, I will not bother you with the medical <laughs> to, to show that there is a communication between the unseen and the physical and part. the physical. And then that prostate has a role. That prostate, um, uh, it has a a very serious role because uh, the prostate uh, regulates if the those fluid doesn't come out. Okay, um, is going to affect the vitality of the of the sperm cells that are being Ooh, produced. Because the, the fluid is where the, the sperm swim in, right? Yes, they okay. swim inside the fluid before okay. it, it keeps, it, it just mixes up and then before it starts moving into the other okay. outside, outside the body. Mm -hmm. So the prostate plays a role. The, the cells of the prostate could actually uh, be enlarged. Where that's how about people it. have, that's when it's, when they now say I have prostate right yeah you have prostate. Large. yeah the prostate may be large and usually benign okay. and it's not malignant uh, mm -hmm. then it could also be enlarged but they, they they have their criteria there are criteria for making such decisions about the prostate mm -hmm. but prostate plays a role okay in sexual health for the man and okay, let me ask you a question because as we're doing this, I'm throwing in my questions, okay? Okay, that's because fine. Because one of my uniques wanted to know that the husband, the husband is always, you know, asking for lovemaking and that whenever she says no, the husband will say, oh, you are trying to, you're, you're, you know, <laughs> you are not helping me because this helps my prostate. <laughs> so she wants to know, is it real or is this man just playing with her? <laughs> Well, there are many there are many schools of thoughts on this. Okay. And some people believe that uh, when you when you have sex, um, it helps the prostate. Okay. 
There's also some articles or some studies that have been done that suggest that the more sexual activity a man does, mm -hmm. um, the prostate is at risk of having uh, any prostate disorder. Mm -hmm. So, but personally, and with uh, the clients that we have treated, mm -hmm. I believe that sexual activity, sexual arousal um, helps the prostate. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, it helps the prostate. And so you're supporting the, the man then? <laughs> yes, it helps the prostate and it helps the sexual <laughs> health of the man. Okay, so my sister, I hope you're watching. You, you, you had the answer to the thing. So for my sisters out there, my, especially my married sisters, so I'm not talking about the ones that are not married. I'm talking about the ones that are married. Please stop denying your husband. You cannot have headache every night for one month. Something is wrong. Go see a doctor. <laughs> you cannot say your back aches for one month. Go see a doctor. Stop denying my unique brother. So give them what they want. You have had it straight from the doctor. He helps their prostate. Please. <laughs> okay. 